Hi and welcome to this part. On this part we will learn everything about different types of operators in C Sharp programming language and how to use them. C Sharp comes with different types of operators and these are basic assignment operator, arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, unary operators, ternary, bitwise and bit shift. And the last one is the compound assignment operators. Before we start, it's important to know that operators are just symbols that are used to perform operations. For example, if I have 5 times 3, which will result in 15, the multiplication sign is an operator that is used to carry out the multiplication operation. So let us start with the first operator. The basic assignment operator is used to assign values to variables. And for this operator, we use the equal sign. So let's go to Visual Studio and see an example. On this example, we have defined two variables of type integer named first number and second number. And we assign to these variables values in line 11 where we define that the first number will have the value 10 and the second number will have the value of the first number, which is 10, because we assigned it in the line number 11. Now, if I press Ctrl F5 to see the result, this is what we are going to see. So the first number is 10 and the second number is 10 as well. Arithmetic operators are used to perform arithmetic operations, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. So let us go to Visual Studio and see an example. So here we have defined three variables of type double. We have the first number of value 5.4, the second number has the value 3.25, and then we have the result which is going to hold the result for each case. Then we have three more variables of type integer, the number 1, 26, number 2, 4, and the reminder which is going to be used for the last case. Then we have the addition operator where we simply assign to the result variable, we assign the value of the first number plus second number. Then we have subtraction, multiplication, division. So in here we are basically using the operation operators and then we are using the assignment operator to assign these values to the result variable. If I run the application, I will get the results respectively. So this is what we are going to get in your screen. So I see the sum, the difference, the multiplication, division, and the modulus of all the values that we have defined in our application. Relational operators are used to check the relationship between two operands. So if the relationship is true, then the result will be true. Otherwise, it will result in false. So we have the equal operator, which is going to be used to check if two values are equal to each other. And then we have other operators, like for example, greater than, which basically checks if a number is greater than the other one. And if it's true, like in this case, it will return a true, otherwise a false. So relational operators return a bool value, either false or true. So let us go to Visual Studio and create another example. So in here I have a result variable of type bool, because we said that the relational operators return either true or false. So we need a bool type variable to store the result. Then I have defined that the first number is equal to 10 and the second number is equal to 20. And then I use all the operators one by one. So in here, I check if the first number is equal to the second number, which is false. And then here I check if the first number is greater than the second number. Here I check the opposite, if the first number is less than the second number. And then here, I use another operator to check if the first number is greater than or equal to the second number. Then next, I use 
the other operator to check if the first number is less than or equal to the second number. And at the end, I just check if the first number is different from the last number, which will return true. Let us run this application and see the results. So here I have that 10 is equal to 20 is false, but then down here I have that 10 is different from 20 returns true. Then we said that another type of operators are the logical operators, and logical operators are used to perform logical operations. And here you have a table with the respective AND and OR logical operators. So if the first operand is true and the second operand is true, then we have that the OR operator will return true and the AND operator returns true. But we see that the AND operator returns true only if two values are true, but the OR operator returns false only when two values are false. So let us see an example in Visual Studio. So in here we have defined a bool variable to hold the result, and then we have the first number 10 and the second number 20. Now the OR operator in here, we check if the first number is equal to the second number, or the first number is equal to 5. Now, since the first part is equal to false, but the second one is equal to true, we expect as a result to see true. But for the AND operator, when it checks if the first number is equal to the second number, just because this statement is false, then the result should be false. Unary operators are another type of operators in C sharp. And unlike other operators, the unary operators operates on a single operand, which means that we can either increase a value, decrease a value, or change the logic of that value. And here you have a table which summarizes everything. But to understand this better, let us see an example in Visual Studio. So here I've defined a number is equal to 10, a result which will hold the results, and a flag of type bool, which is equal to true. So when I say in here plus number, it means that the number is going to remain the same. So the result is going to be 10. But when I say minus in here, minus number, it means that I'm changing the sign of the value. And from 10 is going to be minus 10. And then here I increase the value by one. Then down here I decrease the value by one. And the other one, instead of true, is going to return false because I use the explanation mark to change the value. So let us run this application to see the result. Control F5, and here we have 11. And then because we increase it up here to 11, when I decrease it, I go back to 10. And then the NOT flag will return the NOT true, which is equal to false. The ternary operator operates on three operands. It is a shorthand for the if then else statement. Ternary operator works as follows. If the expression stated by condition is true, the result of expression one is assigned to the variable. Otherwise, so if the condition is false, then the second expression is going to be assigned. Let us see an example in Visual Studio. So here I have declared a number variable of type integer and I have assigned the value 10 to this number. And then I have another variable named result of type string. So what do you think happens in here? So I have the condition in here, then I have the first expression and the second expression. What do you think will happen? Well, the condition will check if the number is greater than zero, which is true. And in this case, the first expression will be assigned. So the result will have the value 
creator. If this condition here would have been false, then the second value would have been assigned to the result. So let us run this application to see the result in the screen. And yes, 10 is greater. That's right. But if I change this to a false statement, so 10 is less than zero, then the second expression should be assigned. So if I run this application, then I see that 10 is not greater. So it's not greater than zero. That is what it means. Another type of operator that we have is the bitwise and bit shift operators. The bitwise and bit shift operators are used to perform bit manipulation operations. The bitwise and the bit shift operators are not commonly used in real life situations. But if you are interested to learn more about them, you can just Google like bitwise and bit shift operators and you will get a ton of documentation. The last important operators in C -sharp are the compound assignment operators. And these operators are used to assign different values to the defined variables. So in here I have just created a sample. I have defined a number of value 10, and then I add five to this number, then I subtract three, I multiply by two, divided by three, and so on. If I press the control five, this is the result that I'm going to get. And here is a table of all the compound assignment operators. So guys, thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure that you do by clicking the subscribe button so you don't miss the upcoming parts. See you on the next one.